Welcome to my store. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get the brine shrimp ready for not tomorrow, for the next day. These are brine shrimp that are uh, two days old now. We hatch them out in the window so that uh, they're in light. Okay. The eggs need light to make the enzyme that makes them hatch work. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this over here. Actually, let's take it downstairs. I have everything. Okay, because I usually set it up here because it's nice and high up. Okay, plus with that light there, as I'm sure you guys know, the brine shrimp are phototropic, so they'll actually cluster against this side of the container, and they're easier to collect. So we're going to let this sit for about 10-15 uh, minutes, so we'll be back then to continue this a little bit. Okay, so we've got the brine shrimp. They've been sat in here for about 10 minutes. If you look on top, you can see how there's the uh, surface film, so you just touch it. See when you touch it, all that stuff goes out of the way? Okay. That way when I uh, take the uh, hose, I don't carry that down with everything. Okay. Because you do not want to feed the babies the uh, shells because they're indigestible chitin and uh, they will actually bind up in their belly and they won't be able to go poop. Okay, so you just put it down about an inch from the bottom, start a siphon, and you just start siphoning it. You put your finger kind of over the end, pull the water down a bit. That's so that the uh, water doesn't get stirred up and you don't bring out a lot of crap. Then in these fine shrimp, they're two days old. Okay. So they have a mouth and they can start eating now. And uh, we'll have them bubbling away in the green water. That way they're all gut loaded, ready to feed tomorrow if we need them. Or uh, Sunday if we don't need them tomorrow. Okay. Leave with you in a minute. Now we're just shooting, uh, we got baby bongai cardinals upstairs, so we're getting uh, brine shrimp ready for tomorrow where we uh, have them in the green water bubbling overnight, that way they can eat and get nutrition into them. Okay. So you stop before you get uh, all of the water out because uh, if you try to go for all the water, you're going to get more uh, shells, but what we do is we take a smaller container and we do it again. Okay, so we're going to let that settle and uh, we'll see you in a little bit when we do this one and get the other ones ready for uh, putting away.